back with the next cool experiment where the three kids in our big adventures. Just in case you forgot our names, I'm Ariana. I'm TJ. I'm Matthew. And today we're going to make a volcano. But to do this, we need some ingredients. For this experiment, we need six cups of flour, two cups of salt, two cups of warm water, four tablespoons of cooking oil, a bowl, and a spoon to mix everything. Now I'm gonna pour the six cups of flour into the bowl. Next, my brother is going to pour two cups of salt. Now, now I'm going to pour two cups of warm water in. Now I'm going to pour some cooking oil. Now I'm going to mix everything up. If your mixture is too hard, you can add some more warm water. TJ, can you go grab the rest of the items, please? Okay. This is a tray so we don't flood our kitchen. And here's an empty cup. Later, we're gonna tell you what we put inside. So now I'm gonna take my dough. And I'm going to put it around the cup, trying to shape a volcano. You don't need to use a cup. You can also use an empty water bottle to put the dough around. This process should take about 20 minutes. Once you're done, you're gonna wait a few hours until the dough hardens. Now we're gonna do the inside of the volcano, but we need science goggles. Well, since there's coronavirus, we couldn't buy science goggles, so we're going to use our computer glasses to protect our eyes. But to make the inside of the volcano, we need some ingredients. To do the inside of the volcano, we need a cup of water, half a cup of vinegar, half, of, half a cup of dishwasher soap, four tablespoons of baking soda and food coloring. We're using blue food coloring. You can use any color. Matthew, can you start pouring some of the ingredients? You want to put 15 drops of food coloring. Wow! wow! Well, we 
hope you make a volcano at home. Bye! Bye. And what did the wolf betray? Thanks to count for two spaces for that screen. What put that on? No. It didn't blow. Even the outside looks blue. It looks yeah. like